Your country is doing fantastically well. We had one of the best economic days in our history on Friday. The numbers were announced, and you're going to see other numbers coming out. We're, we're really back on track. President Trump congratulating the World Series champs, the Houston Astros, and the economy today. The Dow, though, today taking a step backward after that big rally on Friday, but it's up huge, and it looks like stocks are really coming back strong. I want to talk now with Melissa Armo, Heath Herzog, and Ashley Webster about this. Melissa, uh, you're bullish on this economy and the market. Definitely, absolutely. In fact, today, even though we closed a little bit down in some of these sectors, I think that the market overall looks very, very strong. I look at today as a strong day because we held, because we gapped up in a weird area today that we could have dropped, and then we held, held, held. We held the low. In fact, I think we're probably higher tomorrow. Uh, Hita? Operative word here is one trillion. That is where Apple's market cap is going to be within 9.5% away from that. So, yeah, I think to Melissa's point, we are, the market is certainly strong. The economy is strong. Are we going to see more volatility? Absolutely. But that's just the name of the game right now. But the bottom line is that we have leadership, right? You mentioned Apple, consumer discretionary stocks are the big winners today. Anytime you see Apple, Netflix, Amazon, we think of them as tech names, but those are really reflections of the consumer two-thirds of the economy. Right, and corporate earnings. I mean, earnings are coming up soon. Like, we have to, we have to gauge that as well. But we've had some strong earnings, specifically coming out of the consumer sector and which is something that I constantly watch. Well, we had just about Ashley, arguably yeah. one of the best earning seasons ever. Terrific. 77% of and there was a lot of charge-offs in there because of the new taxing and accounting rules. It will get even better in the next But quarter. I was excited about the revenue part, right? 77% sure. beat on revenue. Guidance is going higher. And, and it just feels like, even again, we gave some back today. But what right. I found interesting on, on NASDAQ, on the New York Stock Exchange, 148 stocks hit new highs, only 25 new lows. 270 stocks on NASDAQ hit new highs. I mean, this market is game. There's like, confidence out there. The macroeconomic backdrop, to, 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 to your point, is still very strong. Um, the tax reforms are in place. The last jobs report was the Goldilocks report, of all Goldilocks reports, because it showed jo great job creation without that wage growth getting carried away. So we worry less about inflation and the Fed raising rates and all of those things that created that huge market drop back in the January jobs right. report. I think, all, you know, obviously there's a concern about the tariffs. What's that going to do? Is it good? Do we get into a global trade war, which is really not good for the market? The market won't like that. But underlying all of this is a very solid economic. By, by the same token, though, what the market would like is a 3% GDP growth. And the only thing that held us back in the fourth quarter was trade. So there's no doubt, Melissa, that something has to be done. And, and whether you don't like whether you like President Trump's quote unquote hand fisted approach or not, this is the one element that we need to turn around because the rest of the economy is firing on all cylinders. Right. Well, we're in an environment right now. It's funny. Everybody's point, making good points. It's We're in an environment that has volatility because it's headline risk. It's kind of strange because we're in a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week news cycle where a headline can come out, <laughs> Trump, tariffs, you know, this, that thing, and all of a sudden then it can change, but then it can turn around really quickly. Like, we had that drop-off. Look how fast we retraced it. So, yes, you're right. Not not everything is perfect, but overall, we're in an uptrend. Overall, I think we're going to we're going to hold it. Right. And, the, and look at the broader market. The banks are so strong. Goldman mm -hmm. made a new high today. You're not going to have the market come in and collapse with these banks looking so strong. With interest rates rising, that's good for the banks. The banks are going to well, get also, more deposits interest rates now. going higher reflect a stronger economy as right. well, Heitha. Right. Absolutely. And to your point regarding these companies in this trade war, yes, of course, a trade war would be terrible. But when you have companies like Acceler Metal who are based overseas but own steel mills here in this country, Country and can't give out profit sharing because they're not making money here and they're advocating for these mm. tariffs. I mean, it's a really major point. I mean, when you have companies like that advocating for tariffs. Market's uh, going to shake it off. Market's going to shake it off. I'm telling you, market absolutely. looks so great. It's going to shake off anything. That's what it looks like the, to the me. The thing is, though, steel and aluminum accounts for like 1.6% of all imports. It's a tiny fraction. A the tiny theory fraction. Is, mm -hmm. is that it starts to spread And we want into to other make sectors. these companies profitable yeah, but what, but here in the true. United States. What's not tiny, though, is $171 billion trade deficit that we have with the right. EU, the $350 billion right. trade deficit we have with China, the $71 billion trade deficit we have in Mexico. If we can fix that, tweak sure. that, we will have a Goldilocks economy for real. All right, guys, thank you all very much. <laughs> thank sure. you. Well, President